Lovely, lovely Chris. I worked with him for well quite a few years at Focus Right Novation. We did Mini Nova together. Um, we did Circuit because Circuit has a Nova engine in it as well. So he was always about, and I was, got to know him and would visit him occasionally in Oxford. Um, when I left Focus Right, we kept in touch for a while. Obviously, I was working on Malevolent, and bringing that uh, forward, but came a point where I thought, well, I wonder if he fancy making a little thing with me as well. Um, so I went over to see him in Oxford, and uh, the, the great man had his great office, uh, which was where we'd go and listen to things, but we'd sit in the dining room when we were talking about stuff. So I remember we sat in the dining room opposite one another across the dining table. And, I said, and he said, you know, I've got a synth that I, you know, I'd like to make. And we discussed it, and it was something that was um, that would be based on the Wasp, but bringing that forward, updating it with multiple components and stuff. From my side, USB-C and a good you know, digital side control on the keyboard and that sort of thing. Um, and um, we agreed we'd have a go and it, it, it began life as a sort of a back burner project I guess for him um, he would work on it, we'd talk once a week on the phone on Friday and talk about everything but the synth usually and then and then talk about it um, when it got a little bit further on uh, there'd be a panel design and um, we'd go back and forth on where things should be laid out, where the controls should be and how it would work and that sort of things so when we're sort of designing it together. A lot of it, the majority of it is Chris's uh, work and I want to bring this product to market to honour what he had chosen to do and how he designed it to be laid out. Not very many people knew about the cancer diagnosis. In the early stages, he was going through some treatments and they were being successful. And um, he was fighting it. Things were generally looking good. I do remember though, when he said um, uh, he'd been for surgery and he'd gone back for a checkup and unfortunately um, it had spread and it kind of gone everywhere. And, uh, and he knew then what the what the outcome was going to be. Um, he wasn't going up to the office, and um, we we had what then became our final conversation. It was two weeks before he died, and um, uh, Melanie tells me his wife tells me that after our final conversation, he just he he got up out of bed, went up to his office, he packaged up the designs and the code, and he just handed that over to me, just sent it all, all over to me. And that was the last time that he ever got out of bed. He went basically back to bed then and um, it was two weeks later that he passed. So it's really important that, you know, he made that, by that action, he was saying he wanted this synth to, to go on into the world. And um, with Melanie's support and the girl's support, um, we want to do it. We, we want to make this thing. We want to make, uh, bring it, bring it to market, and um, let everyone have a go on what is the last Chris Huggins synth. It is uh, digital oscillators, but then it's analog signal path, which is absolutely brilliant. It has an amazing filter in it, which is actually two filters that you can use together in a width configuration and stuff as well. So when Chris and I did originally agree we'd make this thing together, we, I'd work on a really simple method. We just, we make a thing and then kind of come up with a split for the, for the difference. Um, Chris now having passed, it's really important to me. I want to honor that. And um, although now we've, got, we've uh, got another person involved to pick up on the engineering side, um, we're still going to do that and uh, make sure that some of the, the profit from this synth goes to Melanie and the girls, goes to Chris's estate, effectively. I said I would uh, split, split the profit with him and that's exactly what I'm going to do. want to honour that, it's really important to me. I just thought it, I thought it would be a nice tribute to uh, put Chris's signature on the back. So I asked Melanie about it, she said, 
yeah, go on then. So she went and dug out, I think it's come off his driver's license. She sent me a, a picture of his driver's license and that went off to the ID guy and he scanned that and, and now that sits on the screen print on the back of the unit just in one corner. So every unit will have Chris's little signature on it and I think that's just a nice touch. I hope you agree. Thank you.